right, we're back with uh, in person, just another kill team stat show. <laughs> we got some interesting results. Anything you want to talk about in specific, Jason? Well, uh, things kind of leveled out a little bit. Um, Phobos took a little spike. <laughs> That's cool. We'll have to dig into that one. But, you know, the top end of the meta is pretty darned elite heavy. As far as play rate and as, and as far as win rate. Yeah, the top six most popular <clears throat> factions, all elites. With Hero Tech Circle kind of being an honorary elite. I think Hero Tech Circle lives in the uh, six operatives with two dorks area, which is more or less elites, especially when you're hitting on threes, saving on threes, and nuking people on twos sometimes. And just not dying. And when you do, just standing back up. Pretty elite. Yeah. Some, uh, some still some mixed data with, it looks like Space Marines getting locked up in the overall stats. So for players, we're still waiting on PCP to catch back up with the rest of the meta. I'm uh, surprised to see Blooded up there at the above 60. Yeah, I think Blooded are a team that still are one of those teams that I think has some of the tools to manage some of the elites, but not necessarily the easiest thing, especially once players get a little bit more competitive, it looks like. We've got a 4-0 from Kenton H. from Prairie Fire Wargaming in Canada. But it does look like he played five rounds, and he only played four. So he was able to get a an extra win. Or was able to avoid a, avoid a loss. <clears throat> Was there only one, two, There's a, was there only one game that played five rounds that one? That's a handful, so I don't know what happened in Canada, but if That's anyone knows and wants to give us a scoop just so we figure out what's going on, it'd be great. Otherwise, at that tournament, there was a Void Dancer who had two wins, two draws, and one loss, which is kind of a wild score. Pretty well balanced. And then there's a Tempestus Aqualons out here with a 4-1 record at this tournament. So, oh, very geez. curious what happened. Yeah, I was like, what did that what did that Aqualons play against? Yeah. But Aqualons overall not doing that great this weekend. Getting a little smacked. <laughs> smacked really hard actually. They're all the way down at the 30% win rate. A team that <clears throat> conceptually on paper seems like it's got some pretty strong strong play. <clears throat> but Hive Storm overall not doing that well. Best bids down at 34%. Yeah, where are they in the popularity chart? Uh, 3% of the meta. Yeah, not a ton. Not a ton of play. Are they even on this chart? That's what I was looking for. I don't think I, I don't think they're on the chart. They're on here on the stats. Maybe there's too many bars. Maybe there are too many bars. <laughs> Um, scout squad getting smacked around I assume I would have to assume it's because people are taking all of the heavy weapons and I think that's a trap it probably is a trap there's really just also not that much representation looks like everyone's on to bigger better things or bigger better space marines <laughs> yeah everyone put on the power armor I guess the transition from second to third was actually just scouts finishing their training mm -hmm. yep now they're all graduated and some of them are twisted by chaos <laughs> um one of the surprises, or not a surprise now that we were at the New York Open watching it happen in real time, is uh, Novitiates. Novitiates. Kind slapping people insane. around. They had uh, two undefeated records, quite a few records on the higher end, you know, with Shane doing pretty well at the New York Open. There's a couple asterisks on where the final score for the New York Open is, but that's on me, so I'll deal with that in the near future. But one fun thing to note, even outside of Novitiates being a, a random spike, is that Phobos had one champion this weekend. And it was Jason. Running oh, mostly in cursors? Angles of death. <laughs> We're probably going to hear about this for the next forever until the World Championship happens. That's and probably true. You do it again at the World Championships, and people aren't ready for it. Catch more people with angles. <laughs> And, um, yeah, any other big things you want to dig into while we're here in person? Um, I mean, I, I do got to shout out the fact Novitiate's power is a little bit hidden in this graph because it's, what is this, like 60%? 
Win rate? Uh, it looks like they all, every one of the Nuka Shoots players kind of like took a loss here or there, but as a whole, and there was one player who did particularly poorly that brought down their stats. I think Sans Jesse P, a uh, New England native, score, they probably would have had a very high win rate because it would have taken out four losses out of their pool. Even yeah. still, it feels like they're at a higher than 55, so. Me. Yeah. That's a little weird. There's a lot of draws chucked in here, and I think that probably plays into it. Yeah. <clears throat> Inquisitorial agents, for as strong as everyone assumes that they are, didn't quite get over the line. We got Mateusz out in uh, Poland, who visited and talked about the team, taking the final final round loss. Is that five wins and then a five loss? Five wins and then a loss. And then Mike Cortez, a uh, local of mine, who lost the first round and then went on a five-win tear. And it does look like there's a couple weaknesses in the strength of the team overall. I'm curious about what both of those losses were again. Uh, this is a team championship, so probably for Mateusz in Poland. Nemesis? No, he won that one. Losing against Legionary. Interesting. Okay. Maybe that was on like a beta decima. It looks like they're... Or maybe it was on the... I think Legionary can beat Inquisitorial Agents if you just threat saturate them. Yeah, and just overload their their small dorks. And then in at the New York Open, in this first round with Mike Cortez... Uh, uh, it was the first round loss against the Nukashits, where I think there was a comment about shooting one model five times and not killing it. Which is exactly why Nukashits are so bananas. Don't don't overextend yourself to touch a Nukashits player unless you absolutely have a kill. So four or five weapons with lethal five or power swords, or but never four four. And just, yes, yeah, specifically... Melee. Lethal 5. If you let them roll dice, they will out-dice you. Overall, you know, Legionary 10% of the meta, not quite the 70% uh, win rate that everyone expects they'll be. Just at the edge. Was there a bunch of, like... Um... And there weren't really that many players for the 46 players who took Legionary this weekend. Only three of them had undefeated records. So it's not like they did so well that it was an unstoppable tear. Yeah. There are chinks in the armor. Maybe not massive chinks, but definitely some yeah. way, some room to get at people. It's like all of the chaos marks have an angle that you can get them from. Like the, you know, Slanesh. If they come sprinting at you, the turn ends. They're not running anymore, and now they're vulnerable. Higher Tech Circle at a 56-57% win rate, and they did have a really good weekend overall with a fully, was this, six wins in Poland at their team tournament. And then a lot of 3-0, 3-0 events, and there was actually another Higher Tech Circle player who was also almost undefeated in Poland. Is that five? Five, five and, and one? one, yeah. Dang. So Higher Tech Circle might not be in a lot of people's kind of like expectations for being an uh, elite team but it does look like the combination of having a lot of flexible spells and being just chunky they definitely have some juice <clears throat> and like death marks are really good and really cool yeah i think one of the matt O, who is going to the world championships and went uh three two and one took a lot of death marks this weekend i don't know it served him reasonably well um and that's kind of those are all like maybe the big points and a couple interesting storylines floating around the bottom end, but definitely, if you don't have a plan to deal with elites, gotta make one because you can't go into a game just just playing. Yeah. Any other uh, big tips from this weekend's results, Jason? It's a way different game. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you thought worked, um, you gotta you gotta look twice. Uh, you dig deep. Well, factions with new tricks, find them. Uh, if it looks like your faction got nerfed, there it probably also got some kind of a buff. You just dig around and see what you got, and come in with an open mind because this is a lot of changes. It's more or less a new game. Yeah. So, and uh, 
good luck.